Hello, today we're going to be doing lesson 3.8, Modeling Tenths with Fraction Circles. So let's talk about why are we modeling tenths with fraction circles. And the reason that we're doing this is we're building our understanding of how fractions work and starting to look at decimals. So that's our why. So let's look at our how. I'm going to pull up some fraction circles for you today. And if you take a look at this fraction circle, we would say that this would be what fraction? As we count all of the pieces here, we have 10 of them as we go around our circle. So our fraction for this particular fraction circle would be 1 tenth. But if I pull up another fraction circle and we try to compare the two, this fraction circle I would have two tenths. So if I were going to compare them, which one is bigger? Hopefully you're saying two tenths. So one tenth would be less than two tenths in this comparison. So what if we take a look at these two fraction circles? Which one is larger and how would we say the fraction? So hopefully you're looking at the one on the left and you have counted the shaded parts, which there are four of them, and there are 10 total. So our fraction would be 4 tenths. And then we still have 2 tenths on the right side. Which fraction is larger? Hopefully you're thinking 4 tenths, so 4 tenths is greater than 2 tenths. So let's say that we have these two fractions, and you'll notice that the one in red is a whole, and then I have part of another fraction next to that. So we're going to say that that would be 1 whole and 2 tenths on this side, and then if we look at the one in yellow, which I know my artwork is just wonderful, isn't it? But just pretend um, we've got two blank spaces left, so that means that fraction would be 8 tenths. Now, if we were looking to see, of course, which one is larger, we can tell that very quickly um, with this picture because we have a hole involved and we don't have a hole on the other side. So we would say that 1 and 2 tenths is greater than 8 tenths. But how do we write that as a decimal? When we're going to write that as a decimal for the first one, we would write 1, and then think about how we say that, 1 and 2 tenths. So my and is my decimal point, and then my 2 would go here because that is the tenths place in a decimal. So that is how we would write that as a decimal. Let's take a look at the second one. We don't have a whole number, so we would write zero. We put our decimal point, and then we put our eight. So we would read that zero and eight tenths. So let's practice a little bit. I've got three fractions here, and we're going to write these as decimals. So if we look at the first one, we have six tenths. We do not have a whole number, so we're going to write zero decimal point, so that's our and, six tenths. If we look at the second one, we have three tenths, so we don't have a whole number again. We would write zero and our decimal point and three tenths. Our last one would be zero and seven tenths. So we've explored a little bit today in this lesson. In class, we are going to explore some more. So we're going to be exploring more equivalent names for numbers, decimal notation for fractions with denominators of 10. Good job, guys. See you in class.